On the board, I say that people are like crayons. Do y'all believe that? No. Who else wanted a color? You want this back? Okay. Oh, no. You want a color? Mm. All right. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm just giving it to you just in case. You want a color with these? Why you want a color with these? Because they're better. They're better. I can make it more detailed. They look so much better. Some of these crayons, they look a little used, though. Can you still use them? That's fine. You can still color with broken crayons. That's right, because I see some broken ones down here, too. So when you hear the word diversity, what does that mean to you? What do you think? Difference. That's awesome. You think what? You think different races? Okay. How many of y'all think about different races when you hear the word diversity? Oh. Yeah, when you hear the word diversity, you think of different races. That makes sense. That's what most people think of different races when they hear the word diversity. But diversity is really characteristics more than just race. But they're characteristics that make us like each other and some of us different from each other. So we had some of us like red, some of us like yellow, some of us like green. Some of us like blue. Does it make you not like somebody because they like a different color to you? Uh, I can't, I can't it. All of y'all got a dollar. So all of you all should be able to get something out of the vending machine, right? Yes. Your, your vending machine, what does your vending machine take? What kind of coins? Pennies and some nickels, got one of the dimes, and a quarter. No, the vending machine doesn't take pennies. You ain't getting no. Vending machine does not take pennies. So who, who has pennies up here? Me. So you have pennies. You got pennies? Okay. No. You have you got four quarters, right? And you have a dollar. Do, do all of y'all want something out of the vending machine? Yes. Yes. So how are you all gonna get something out of the vending machine? Y'all are gonna figure that out at the table. How is everybody going to be able to get something out of the vending machine? Okay? We need to create some equity in here because I want everybody to be able to get something out of the vending machine. My name is Mikhail Brown and I'm here at the Habitat Health Center. And today I was in my Crosby Scholar room with Dr. Q and we learned about ethnicity, equity, and equality. And I appreciate you guys for having me here. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dr. LaCoya Johnson. I'm here with Growing Through It. This is my organization where I go out and I talk to students like those at the Youth Empowerment Program with Habitat for Humanity about diversity, equity, and inclusion. I had the opportunity to talk to 25 youth today, some with Crosby Scholars, some with the Youth Empowerment Program, but we did a collaborative effort. And at the end of the day, our children understand what diversity is. They understand that it's about more than race and gender and sexuality. There are many dimensions of diversity and we were able to get down to some of the finer details of what is diversity and what does it mean to me today. We had athletes, we had middle schoolers, high schoolers, athletes, non-athletes, honor roll students because diversity is so much more than just race, gender, and sexuality. We also talked about inclusion and what does inclusion feel like. We created a vulnerable space for children to say what's going on in their actual environments. What does inclusion feel like? It means like I belong and everyone and should feel like they are walking into spaces where they belong. And lastly, we really talked about the difference between equality and equity as well. Understanding that equality, while it may look fair, it means that everyone does not get an opportunity to enjoy the resources that everyone else does. So we did a breakout session where each group was able to really learn what equity meant in a full on real life example of using a vending machine where everyone has a dollar but some people have pennies that they can't use. How do we ensure that everyone gets to enjoy the vending machine? We also broke down the difference between race and ethnicity. The title of the presentation was people are like crayons. We don't have to limit ourselves to the primary colors. When we look at the Crayola box of 64 crayons, we see that red is not just red. Red may be brick red, it may be scarlet, just like black is not just black. Black may be African American, Haitian, Dominican Republic. Race and ethnicity are not the same. And at the end of the day, our students left understanding the difference between race and ethnicity, equality versus equity. What does diversity look like? And most importantly, what does it feel like when I belong?